Not all lasers are created equal. This is a class four laser, which is very, very, very powerful. We have class three lasers, class two lasers, and they're all good and they all have their purpose. But the class four laser can actually penetrate deeper into the body to regenerate new cell growth, uh, get rid of scar tissue, adhesions. It will make ATP, which is for energy, and it helps with any process of the body to heal, to circulate blood, to circulate oxygen. Kids, what do kids have a lot of? Energy, tons of energy. So they have a lot of ATB production, lots of it. And that's why they heal quickly. I have parents sometimes, they bring their kids in and they're like, Johnny, tell them about your neck pain. Well, that was like yesterday, it's all healed. Well, it's all healed because they have an abundance of ATP. As we get older, we don't have that. And so this will help turn back time. It'll make you like a kid again. So it actually goes to the mitochondria to regenerate and make new ATP at a constant, consistent basis, a lot faster than we're used to as an adult. This laser is so powerful, it can actually penetrate a horse, a cow. It can get in there very, very deeply. So we have different parts of our body that are thicker than others. We have different shoulder joints that we have to get in and penetrate to get into deeper muscular areas where we have some damage. The subscapularis, so the supraspinatus muscles, which are underneath some of the other muscles. So we have to penetrate deeper. Sometimes I'll use the laser on the liver people look at me it's strange like what are you doing on my liver well the liver is responsible for healing muscles tendons ligaments nerves the liver is responsible for getting deep sleep REM sleep inflammation oh my goodness inflammation is a big liver component inflammation is what we have to reduce before we get good healing the liver is responsible for processing all hormones in the body, calming down of people's emotions when they get a little agitated. Depression is a big liver uh, issue. Blood sugar is a lot of times pancreas and spleen, but it's a liver issue as well. Liver also makes bile. It helps emulsify fats. It's got over 3,000 processes that it does in the body. So the liver is so important. I'll also utilize this laser and I'll put it on people's brains. Well, who couldn't use a little bit more brain power? We all know how important the brain is. So we all heard of a lot of brain injuries, especially with the National Football League and concussions, CTE. Then we have a lot of brain issues. This class four laser is so good at penetrating the skull and getting to the brain to make new cell growth in the brain, to get rid of scar tissue, to help the processes flow better within the brain, to help cerebral spinal fluid remove toxins and get things circulated through as well. It's so incredible. We always think of the skull as being this really hard and thick structure. You can actually take a red light and penetrate the skull and you can actually see it on the other side. Depending upon what part of the brain we're actually penetrating depends upon what part of the brain we're actually gonna help regenerate. So if we put it on the frontal lobe of the brain, that's where we have executive functioning. That's what's telling other parts of the brain what to do. The frontal lobe will tell the parietal lobe what to do, and we'll have the frontal lobe to tell the temporal lobe what to do. And we get a lot of communications from different parts of the brain. What's really kind of neat is it can actually penetrate so deeply that we can actually get emotional changes and we can change people with issues like ADHD where they might have too much activity in the front of the brain. We can also make different parts of the brain start communicating where certain scar tissue uh, was pro prohibiting it. So we're gonna regenerate and make different pathways work uh, differently. Different parts of the brain might not communicate as well as they used to, but it can actually start to make new pathways around the damaged tissue. When someone has a stroke, we have a part of the brain that's been damaged and is dead. There's not much we can do to those dead areas. But there's some surrounding areas that it's called a penumbra. And that is areas of the brain that aren't dead, but they're not quite functioning optimally. And it's those areas that we can actually bring back new blood supply, regenerate new cell growth, and have it start to work again.